I'm Rick Johansson, and this is Iron Echo Design. If you've been following along on the channel, you know we spend almost all of our time inside of Inkscape, and I wanna to continue to do that. But today, let's go on a field trip. I wanna show you this resource, the Dolly Mini. It's an artificial engine that will generate new art and designs based on things that you type into it. For example, it made all of these images you see here, which may not be ready for prime time based on the image resolution and quality, but look at the inspiration it can provide for your design workflow. You can take something you make inside of the artificial engine and use it as a source of ideas or at least to get your creative juices flowing. Now we're gonna be using the Dolly Mini. The big version is called the Dolly 2, which you have to join a wait list to. Some of the bigger YouTubers have gotten access to it. It's all brought to us by the company OpenAI, which says its mission is to ensure artificial intelligence benefits all of humanity. But they add the clarification that they mean highly autonomous systems that outperform humans at most economically valuable work. So that's a debate for a different video. I just want to play with it and see what this thing can do. Before we jump over into it directly and start just typing things randomly, here is a little bit of instructions to guide us on what we could possibly do. You could type in something like an armchair in the shape of an avocado and you would get these type of images. They tell us that it's good with textures, a cube made of porcupine. So it's circuitry or algorithms are telling us that it knows what a cube is and it knows what a porcupine pine looks like and it's melding them together so let's go play with it ourselves. i'm using the dolly mini engine that's provided for free from huggingface.co so thank you very much it's pretty simple you just basically type in the prompt so let's try cube made of fire run you can see the second counter here i'm going to pause oh there we go Okay, so there is cube made of fire generated by an AI engine. These do look pretty good. They are a little bit blurry. I'm not sure if you can see this on the screen recorder, but in terms of an inspiration or to play off of your own designs, these are impressive. Okay, let's try another one. I did this one before. I did logo of a championship football team with gold and black colors run. I was trying to say before, I'm gonna pause so you don't have to watch the seconds click by. If you're on the huggingface.co and it keeps giving an error message when you hit run, that's what I was getting earlier. Just keep Xing out of the error. There we go, look at that. Football, it knows as what we call soccer. And these are pretty good. They're a little bit warped, but this does give you at least an idea. You could have a shield and some double stripes just as a prompt for your logo design thought process. A flip back into Inkscape, you can see this is the one I got that I liked the first time I tried it. Maybe I said striped background or something. And again, this is the Dolly Mini. Maybe with access to the Dolly 2, the big one, they'll be sharper. But in terms of the concept, it's pretty interesting. Let's do another one. I changed it to an illustration of sound waves bouncing off black background. I think I put gold colored sound waves bouncing off black background run. Yeah, that, that's more like it. This is beautiful, this abstract background. And since it's blurry, you could try to sharpen it up in Photoshop or in Inkscape. I'd probably recreate this with interpolation. That one's kind of generic. That's cool. Yeah, I like how it's almost organic. The next modification I did just to see what would happen is I changed illustration to an explosion. I think I put going into space. Yeah, there we go. This one I like has the echo and some type of almost like space time warping going in. Again, if it was a higher resolution, I think I'd be more impressed. But just the fact that if this truly is working off of artificial intelligence, it's pretty amazing that it's coming up with. I mean, this could be a good background. This is the one I like the most didn't happen today was this. I mean, look at that. This was the same prompt, an explosion of gold colored sound waves, something, something into space. That looks scary, almost like organic, earthly, also celestial at the same time. I just thought it was cool. If you want to try this, I do think it's resetting every time you hit run. I'll take out the preposition, but aside from that, it's the same explosion of gold colored, blah, 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 run. One more point while it's spinning. Oh, there it goes. 60, well, I was going to say, I did it around 6.30 after work one day. It was a little slow. Right now it's late night, too late night, so it's going a little bit faster. 
But look at these, this one's interesting. It's too blurry to use in any type of production, but just the idea, again, just the fact that it's coming up, with, look at that. I'm impressed for where it's at. I'm a little bit scared of where it could go in the future, but I do have confidence, hopefully I don't eat these words in the future, that you will always need a human touch to give it that real life. Do you agree, disagree? Let me know in the comments. I wanna type in one more, good versus evil. Okay, let's just look at one or two of these. We have, this has got to be the evil side. It knows that the devil signifies evil. And over here we have some type of combination of heroes, Batman, some Superman colors, and who's green and yellow? Man in arms? Let's go to the next one. Let's just end here because this is what we don't want. We have evil or maybe good just in a bad mood and is this side evil you'd like the ai as it develops to have a better distinction between what good and evil right and wrong is oh did we try right and wrong this last one i promise right versus wrong mm. <laughs> right is green you can see we, we could play with this all day. But let's end it, though. What do you think? Do you think that the artificial intelligence is the future for at least in the art and design world? I think for now, it's a great aid to help us get some ideas and concepts. And maybe we can try to replicate these exact things inside of Inkscape. And maybe I'll do that now. See you next time. Thanks.